Hey guys, welcome back to Halftime. Now today I'm going to be speaking to Federico Chiesa from Juventus who is having an incredible week, an incredible start to his season. Federico, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on your first ever Champions League goal. Has it sunk in? Thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, you know, conversation, to this interview. And uh, no, I still can't believe it. Uh, Believe it, you know, it was just amazing to score my first Champions League goal. Uh, and, you know, uh, I don't have words to describe it. Yesterday when I scored, when I saw the ball uh, going in the back of the net, I was like, did I score? And also it was you know, an amazing feeling. Amazing. And I mean, of course, your family must be so fr so proud. Have you been able to speak to your father after the match? Yes, I spoke with my father, with my mother, with, the, you know, my mom. The entire family they were so happy for me and uh, you know I was uh, happy for the fact that uh, I scored 20 years after my father scored his first goal uh, with the in the Champions League and so this was just great you know it was a perfect night yesterday and yesterday was also historic because it was the first female referee officiating a men's Champions League match which is a huge step forward what was it like you know being a part of that historic moment did you feel any different what was that like no, we were part of this, you know, uh, change, you know, uh, we always uh, used to watch, you know, a male referee in a male match, you know, and this was something uh, great to see, the, you know, the women in, in the world, you know, for, for the fact that they, they have to be equal to men, they have to be, they have to have the same rights. And this was uh, an amazing thing to do by UEFA and uh, it was great. And it has been a week of firsts and coming up, you do have your first derby against Torino with Juventus. Have they prepared you for that? What's it going to be like? I mean, obviously the fans aren't in the stadium, so it's a little different, but what are you expecting when you step on that pitch? You know, the fact of uh, not having fans at the stadium, uh, you know, it's it's not a great thing because, you know, soccer without fans is, isn't that great. Because fans are part of the game. Uh, they push us to go even further, to 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 give our best inside the uh, inside of the pitch. So it's gonna be you know a little bit sad to to not see our fans you know uh, against uh, Torino on uh, on Saturday. But it it is a an important game for us. But every game for us is important, and uh, we have to do our best to win it. And uh, and then you know it's for the fans is always a. Uh, you know, something more special to win against Turin. Now, Federico, I must tell you that Juventus has a huge following, a huge fan club in Canada, in Toronto specifically, so I think they would really appreciate if you could send a shout out, a message to all of those Canadian fans that watch you every weekend. Yeah, I want to say hi to all my uh, all Juventus Canadian fans uh, in, in Toronto, in all, in, in all of Canada, and uh, no, we're going to do our best uh, for Saturday you know, to win for you guys. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, Federico. Thank you, guys. Thank you.